Hey everyone, Bob Bush, North Prairie Livestock Company. Today I just wanted to show you what we do uh, during the winter time, or if this is one of our winter setups that we use. Um, we're getting some pretty cold weather here for the next week and a half, two weeks. Uh, single digits during the day, and sometimes I don't think we're going to hit any single digits during the day because it's going to be about zero some days. And, and we're supposed to get below zero at night, and we're supposed to get some fairly strong winds. But uh, this is our group of bull calves. We have, uh, well, we have, uh, it's a mix here. We have some uh, uh, bull calves. Oh, uh, they're between seven and eight months. And we've got uh, some yearling bulls and two-year-old bulls in this group as well. We've got some hay unrolled for them. And uh, since we're heading into this more extreme cold period, we've, uh, we have these portable wind breaks that we use. And they work quite well during this, during the winter time and, and uh, when you have more cold weather and you don't have a lot of protection from the wind. Kind of where we're at, you kind of see in the background, we don't really have a lot of wind protection for them. So we'll, we'll set these up. And uh, these, these work pretty well. They're pretty easy to use. Uh, you can uh, maneuver them around pretty good. And uh, they, they chain together on the ends if you have to get them chained together and, and get them kind of grouped tight together. And, and uh, since we're getting uh, these cold temperatures, we'll, we'll also lay down bedding. Here we just threw down some older hay, and uh, and that works quite well. And whatever you got, you know, like corn stalk bales or whatever you need to use to get some bedding down for them. We like to put some bedding down for them. That way they're not laying on the cold, frozen ground. Having some bedding down there uh, takes the stress off their body. Uh, it gets them up off the ground, and uh, they don't have to use as much energy to stay warm. And uh, by having some bedding too, and so they're not laying on the cold, frozen ground, it also helps uh, protect their testicles during the winter time, so they don't have any, so they, they won't uh, get frostbite or anything like that, and uh, and uh, cause any damage to their testicles. And uh, you know, it you know the wind breaks do two things: it helps stop the wind from getting on them, and the bedding also helps keep them up off the ground. We also make sure we change our bedding out too uh, quite frequently. That way the bulls don't get any uh, manure or anything like that on their on their hair. You know, we want to keep our uh, we want to keep the hair and the uh, excuse me, we want to keep the manure and mud off the cattle that way it doesn't wreck their insulation value on their hair coat. You know, that's a really important thing during the winter time and uh, we always we, you know, we're always watching out for that. We want to keep them as clean as possible and uh, and so they don't uh, have to deal with any more uh, stressors during the winter time. And you can see they're, they're nice and clean. We've, we've unrolled some hay. Uh, a lot of times during the winter time, if we're out grazing, um, you know, we'll, we'll un unroll some hay for them. And, you know, if the, if the weather's not that bad. But once we start getting into some more extreme cold periods like this, we like to set up these, these wind breaks and add some extra bedding and, and these guys will all uh, go up there, uh, lay down in there during the evening, and they all they all get huddled up in there, and they get they get pretty it gets pretty cozy there for them. And uh, I think that's all about, about I have for these uh, wind breaks. And um, hopefully everybody's staying warm. If you've got livestock, hopefully uh, you're in these cold cold snaps. Yeah. All your livestock staying healthy, everybody, and uh, have a good evening. We'll see you later.